This is a really weird scenario, what happened with these. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, March 9th. I have 11 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. First couple things I pulled from my storage unit. Uh, both of these are uh, part of the sale that I'm running. I'm trying to liquidate some old inventory. This here is a combat bat, baseball bat. Um, grip is pretty worn, but I usually don't replace grips unless it's a pretty valuable bat, just because a lot of people like their own grip on there. Uh, with the discount, that sold for $19.49 plus shipping. This right here is an Orbiter floor scrubber. I've actually sold a couple of these over the years, and if you guys find them, definitely buy them. This is an older model, not as valuable. There's a newer model that sells for about $150. Bucks. I got this in an estate sale a few months back. I paid... 25 or 30 bucks and with the discount it sold for 77.99 plus shipping you guys are probably wondering how the heck i'm going to ship this thing um, i've actually <clears throat> been holding on to this box for a little while this is a mattress box that uh, we bought a mattress <clears throat> i don't know maybe a month ago and i knew it was a good size just to, i like holding on to those big random boxes so i'm going to do a lot of bubble wrap some packing paper and ship it in that box right there Last thing is a sale outside of eBay. A viewer named Daniel reached out via email for this uh, Goff coin bank. It's just a really cool piece. It was missing the um, rubber stopper on the bottom, so I sold it to him for $15 free shipping. Daniel, thanks for your support. Hope you like that bank. Next thing is a set of vintage glasses right down here. These just have a really cool look to them. I got these as part of a bulk buy probably two, maybe even three months ago. And I think I've got about $15 into them. They are Hazel Atlas. The reason I knew that is because of that hallmark on the bottom. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Buyer reached out saying that they don't want the rack, so that'll save me a little bit of hassle with the shipping. These sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next is on E4. It is a Moana toy. This is the second one I've sold. I got three of these from my guy Mike a couple weeks ago. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is a uh, Viewmaster. Uh, it's a Pixar with a bunch of slides right here. You guys saw me get this maybe two weeks ago. That big buy that I paid $200 for. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next order has two items. First is in B41. Right here, this is a He-Man toy. Let's see, the character's name is Evil Lynn. She has her little staff there. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. And the same buyer got something in C32 right here. Also a He-Man toy. This is Tongue Lasher from 1985. And when you roll his little wheel on the back, his tongue goes up and down. How cool is that? That's all for $16.99 for shipping. Next thing I'm shipping out is a Corvette diecast right here on D3. Not this red one. Let's see. Got three or four of these. I have four of these total. It is this one right here, the Maroon ZR1, the 1993 model. I got this in an online auction. I think I have about, I want to say between $10 and $15 into it. That's all for $34.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a hat. Let's see, right down here, I believe, is this one? Yeah, South Carolina, new with the tags. So this is something I got last year. I've only got about a dollar into it. Part of the sale that I'm running is sold for $6.49 plus shipping. I sold a book, let's see, it's an old inventory code that says B6, so it is probably right in here. Yeah, this is it, Best of Henry Kuttner. I got a whole bunch of sci-fi books at a garage sale last year for a dime each, and I've sold a ton of them. I made some really good money on them. This one I had listed for $10 plus shipping, but as part of the sale I'm running, it sold for $6.49 plus shipping. Last thing going out today is a box of Scotch hang tabs. Right up here, you can see I've got four whole cases of these things. I got a ton of these from my guy Mike, and I've sold through a decent amount of them already. I've maybe got 50 cents or a dollar into each box, and this one right here sold for $12.99 plus shipping. It's Wednesday morning. I have 21 eBay orders to ship out, and it is a beautiful day outside. Went ahead and opened up the back garage door because it is just gorgeous. It's like 60 degrees already. I went ahead and pulled some stuff that I'm shipping out. Two or three things I listed yesterday I meant to take to storage and they sold before I could even get them over there. These Nike CPR irons sold. These are a little bit older, maybe 15, 20 years, but they're pretty clean. They still have a pretty good demand. 
Those sold for $79.99 plus shipping. This I did have to pull from storage. This is a 1971 yearbook for Taft High School in Cincinnati. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And then I listed a couple of uh, Dale Earnhardt shirts yesterday and they both sold. This one sold for $24.99 plus shipping. That's going out to your name, Rebecca. And this one sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And that's going out to your name, Brian. Rebecca and Brian, thanks so much for the support. Hope you like those shirts. All right, next thing is a lot of cassette tapes. Let's see, right here, a lot of heavy metal, or I'm sorry, hair metal. There's some classic rock, Def Leppard, Poison, Skid Row, Dawkins. There's some good titles in here. These were in a lot of stuff that I got from my guy Mike. I did an auction for him starting at a dollar. Oh, there's 12 of them total. They sold for $31 plus shipping. Next thing is a turntable right here on B2. This is an Ion compact. So it doesn't take up very much space. Pretty cool. It has like a leather base to it. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is a video game down in C51. Bratz Rock Angels. I did not think this would be worth any money, but I looked it up and they sell pretty well. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. Next is a lot of die cast cars on E4. Let's see, HW10. This is a really weird scenario what happened with these. Those sold at auction for $61, and right after the auction ended, the buyer reached out to me and said, I'll give you $40 for these, that's all I can afford. And I said, no, we're not gonna do that. So I really didn't have any recourse. I mean, I could open you know, open up a case against him. Like I told him I would just cancel it because that's what he wanted to do because he wasn't gonna pay the full amount. So I just canceled it and sent out a second chance offer and the second highest bidder had bid like $60 and he was like, I can afford $45 plus shipping. I'm like, that's fine, whatever. I just wanna get these things sold. So yeah, really strange scenario. Um, he claimed that he had placed the, you know, the wrong bid or something and couldn't afford the full amount. So whatever, not a big deal. I'm just happy to get something for him. All right, I sold the other big trophy I have right back in there. This is an old football trophy from the 50s. Um, you guys saw me sell the baseball trophy a few days ago, and I got this one along with that baseball trophy. I paid $20 for this. It sold for $99.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing is a hat. Let's move this card out of the way. Right down here, I had a few of these. You guys just saw me sell one a few days ago. Uh, Bushmills Whiskey Hat. I got this at a garage show for a dollar last year. This is part of the sale I'm running. It sold for $5.84 plus shipping. That has going out to a viewer named West. He says, huge fan. I want to thank you and many others for helping me start this eBay journey. Saw this hat sell in a video and knew I had to have one. Would love some stickers and a shout out. Thanks. Slim Pickens 85 eBay username. Central, Michi Central Michigan Picker store name it's a mouthful wes thanks for your support i'll be glad to throw in some stickers for you sold a disney moana figure i think this is the third one i've sold this week i got three of these for my guy mike a couple weeks ago and this is the last one i have sold for 24.99 plus shipping so a catcher's mint uh let's see it's an old inventory code that says f3 so it should be somewhere in here i think i see it it is the time of the year for these to be selling. This is a Mizuno's or Mizuno catcher's mitt. It's actually fast pitch softball catcher's mitt, not a baseball mitt. And the way you tell is they've got a bigger pocket, like all the way around, it's a bigger glove, and the padding is thinner than a typical um, baseball catcher's mitt. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a book. Let's see, it said C5. So it should be, you know what, I think it's up here. I think I moved all my books up here. Yeah, this looks like it. This is an old radiography book from 1947. Part of the sale I'm running is sold for $16.24 plus shipping. Sold a few cards. Let's see, I sold this one and these two. Let's bring all these over. I sold this John Morant. Great Expectations card. I did an auction for it starting at a dollar. Sold for $20 plus shipping. And did an auction with this one as well. Same buyer won this. Zion Williamson Donruss rated rookie card. That sold for $41 plus shipping. And then I sold this Juan Soto rookie card uh, for $13 plus shipping. Your name Drake got that Soto card. He says, long time viewer, first time buyer. Love your videos. This card will be a good addition to my rookie collection. Drake, thanks so much for the business. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of questions from you guys recently about how I ship cards. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. 
I like to put them in a top loader like this. It's just a plastic sleeve. You can get these online. Prices have increased on these recently just because of the demand, like the supply is kind of low. So what I do is I put it in the top loader and then I put a little piece of painter's tape right here. That's just to make sure that the card stays in the top loader. Then I take a piece of cardboard and what I'm gonna do is score it right down the middle with this scoring tool. So put it between the cardboard, fold it over, and we're gonna take this down. So that'll be nice and protected, and then I'm gonna put it in a bubble mat. Just like that, it's good to go. Next thing I'm shipping out is an empty box right back here behind Happy Meal Girl. So let's slide her out of the way there. This is an empty box for an IBM keyboard. This is a vintage clicky keyboard. Uh, let's see, what model is this? 150, 1100, really collectible. If I had the keyboard with it, it would be worth way over a hundred bucks, probably close to $200, I think. But the box by itself, um, I had it listed for like 80 or 100 or best offer for the longest time. Uh, somebody finally sent me an offer of $35 plus shipping and I accepted. Next thing is a tennis racket right back here. It is a Wilson Hyper Hammer, I wanna say like 2.6, yeah, 2.6. Has the rollers, really cool. Has the um, case with the two. Got this from my guy Mike two weeks ago. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next is an E31. Right here, this is a vintage Polaroid camera. I've been selling a ton of these lately. This rainbow stripe always seems to do pretty well. I've only got a dollar or two into that. It's sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And that's going to ask a viewer named Elizabeth. Elizabeth, thanks so much for the support. Hope you like that camera. Next thing is a hat. Let's slide this card out of the way. Right down here, this thing sticks out like a sore thumb. Has this cool taxi checkerboard print. Uh, it's New York, New York Hotel and Casino. I've had this for quite a while. I only have a dollar into it. Uh, part of the sale I'm running is sold for $8.99 plus shipping. Your name McGuire bought that. Really cool name, by the way. I love that name. McGuire, thanks so much for the support. It means a lot. Next thing is an old inventory code. It says A2. I think it's maybe this. No, it's definitely one of those wisp things all right i think it's these right here because i had three of them and i think the buyer bought all three these are accessories for cpap machine i don't think you're allowed to sell cpap machines on ebay but i think you might be able to sell the accessories it's three uh replacement cushions um also part of the sale i'm running the same buyer got all three for 1947 free shipping all right last thing i'm shipping out is a king griffey jr starting lineup figure hiding all the way back here this is the freeze frame, so it comes with three different figures that sold for $11.24 plus shipping. That's going out severe named Bart. Bart, thanks so much for the support. All right, the orders are packed and out the door, and I am now going to send this off for authentication. You guys might remember I bought this, I think it's been two, maybe three weeks ago, for $200. It is a signed media pass from the 1992 presidential debate. It has Ross Perot, George Bush Jr., uh, w, I think, George W. Bush, or George H. W.? Yeah, W. W is the junior, right? George W. Bush and Bill Clinton. So I don't want to sell this without authentication, and I have a couple choices. Two of the big names are PSA and JSA. Right now, PSA, um, they're an authenticator and a grader of cards. They're really backed up with cards. Like, they're just absolutely flooded. JSA, however, does not grade cards, and I think it's going to be a better route to go with them. I did the pricing. It's going to cost $80 plus shipping to get it authenticated, but I think it is well worth it. If it comes back authentic with all the certification, who knows what it could be worth. Uh, there's a few that have sold in the last six, seven years without any kind of authentication for three to $400, so it could be worth a thousand or more. I really don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through this process and how I'm gonna do this. So JSA is a little old school and they have you print off a form. You're gonna you know, handwrite all your info on here and then you're putting what it is that um, you're sending in, what the fees are, 
and then you like hand write your uh i guess your credit card number and all this stuff right here so they can actually charge it all right i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this website too um it's spence loa.com uh spence is the last name of the guy it's actually james spence authentication is what J jsa stands for and if you guys want to look into submitting items with them you need to see the list they have a list of like people that they actually authenticate and you can uh, get the fees for. So actually, let's click on this authentication fees, fee legend. So this is how I figured it was gonna be 80 bucks. So basically I type in Bill Clinton. Here he is, Bill Clinton. The field is presidential. Basic cert certification, $30. If you want a full letter of authenticity, it's 75. Uh, so then we put in Ross Perot. He's a little cheaper. He's only 20 bucks. It says art. That's weird. Hmm. Well, I guess he wasn't a president, so <laughs> I guess he can't be in that field. And then we put in George Bush. Uh, let's see. The 41st president and the 43rd president. Both of them, $30 each. So 30 30 and 20 comes to 80 bucks. Since it is a valuable item, I'll make sure that I get tracking, insurance, or probably signature confirmation too, just to make sure it makes it there safely. When you guys come across autographs at garage sales, thrift stores, wherever, it might be a good idea to have them authenticated. I've never paid to have anything authenticated because I didn't think it was necessarily worth it. Most autographs, if they're under a hundred dollars in value, you might not want to pay, you know, hundreds of more dollars to get the thing authenticated, but you can at least do a Google search of the actual signature and see if it's close or take it to some kind of local shop that might give you a better idea and give you an expert opinion. According to their website, this should be coming back to me in about three weeks. So fingers crossed that it comes back authentic. I'll let you guys know what happens. All right, guys, before I end this video, I have a huge package I'm going to open. My neighbors, as always, are making a ton of noise next door, so I apologize about that. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. This is from my buddy Anthony, also known as Froggy Flips on YouTube, and it is a huge box. I'm excited to see what's in here. All right, we got a letter. Hey dude, here are the stickers you requested. I emailed him asking about some stickers. Also, in the course of my picks and hunts, I've come across several Ohio-related items that have sneakily snuck across the border. He lives in Indiana. I've made it my mission to get them back home. Feel free to pitch, junk, sell, display, or use whatever. My work is done. Cheers, buddy, Anthony. P.S. Watch your hands in case shipping turned into a jumbled mess of broken glass. All right, fingers crossed there's not a lot of broken glass in here. All right, this first piece is huge. Holy cow. No way. Oh, this is awesome. Look at that. Frame photo of the Big Red Machine. Well, not the whole team, but most of the guys anyways. Pete Rose, Joe Morgan, Sparky Anderson, Johnny Bench, Tony Perez. Oh, that is so cool. Really nice frame job too. Anthony, thank you, man. You did not have to do that. I think we can probably find some space on the wall for this guy. All right, something else in here. Got some Reds cups. Oh, that's a cool one. That's definitely from the 70s. New made. Huh, that's neat. And then a bunch more of those cups. There's a Tom Seaver cup. Alright, I think there might be some more glassware in here. Oh shoot, yeah, this one didn't make it unfortunately. But that's okay. What do we got inside here? Oh wow, the really cool Ohio pennant. That's neat. And then right here, we got the Froggy Flip stickers. There's a couple things in here. So we've got a ruler from Churngold Butter Butterine Butterine Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. That's cool. And then we got a Cincy's Great and 68 pen. And here are the Froggy Flip stickers that I asked for. I'll show you guys why I asked for these. I've been looking at my workbench thinking that this is just a little bit too boring. So I'm gonna start putting some stickers on here from some of my favorite YouTube channels. And Froggy Flips is gonna be the first one. If you guys have a YouTube channel and you've got a sticker, I'd love to put it on my workbench. My address is down below in the description. And I'm gonna move back in here to end this video because of all the racket that they're making. If you guys have not already subscribed to Froggy Flip's channel, I highly recommend it. It's one of my personal favorites. I'll put a link down below to his channel in the description. And before I end this video, I wanna give a special shout out to Vincent, Mark, and James. Guys, thank you all so much for watching my channel. And that is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.